What's up guys, it's King Intensity here and I have the SAR21 beast setup. Tons of you guys have been requesting this, so I decided to make a beast setup for this and I think this is probably one of the most requested weapons by far and this is probably one of my most accurate setups that I have so far so I'm just gonna read off the stats of the weapon here you can see on the screen here damage 30 accuracy 36 hip fire 73 range 28 and stability is 104 with a rate of fire of 600 and a magazine size of 30 and that is with all the attachments I'll be showing you guys in a second so to kick off this build we're going to start off with the Optic, which is a Coyote RDS, and this is probably my favorite sight to use. It's not as intense as the holographic might be. It's kind of like that bridge between like the first sight you get and the holographic sight, so I think this is just a really good sight to use. It's really plain, really simple, and I just like using this in a lot of my setups, so you can try that out if you like it. Next for the accessory, I have a laser sight, and the laser sight is always good to have because it just gives you that added hipfire accuracy. And if you're worried about this, uh, the laser sight giving away your position, you can always toggle it off. Um, I believe it's up on the D-pad, so if you're worried about it giving away your position in any situation, you can go ahead and turn it off. So really, it's always a benefit having the laser sight on your weapon. Now for the barrel, I chose a muzzle break. And with the muzzle break, anytime you're using it, you want to burst fire because as you can see in the last line, it says it adds 30% penalty to the accuracy of automatic fire. So a lot of the times when you're using the muzzle break, you want to make sure you're burst firing. And a good attachment to use in combination with the muzzle break is the underbarrel angled grip. And so what the angle grip does is it reduces the first shot recoil by 33%. So when you're burst firing this gun, you're constantly shooting, pausing, shooting again. So your, all, your first shot recoil on all those bursts is going to be reduced by 33%. And in combination with the muzzle brake, that's a really, really good combo. And it just adds so much stability to this gun. It's ridiculous. You'll see in a lot of situations that I get into when I'm burst firing this weapon from a distance I'm just mowing people down and it's really ridiculous how accurate the setup is especially with an angled grip and a muzzle brake combined. Now for the sidearm I'm using the M9 and I'm just gonna read off the stats here this is actually the stock with no attachments and the damage is 30 accuracy 30 hip fire 76 range is 15 and stability is 60 and the magazine size is 15 so this is just the stock M9 I don't have any attachments because I haven't unlocked any yet but the attachments I would advise to use are maybe a compensator and probably a ghost ring because those are probably the best attachments to use on any sidearm that you're going to be using so I have yet to unlock those but those are probably the attachments I would use if I was using the M9 but the M9 is pretty beast by itself. Now for the gadgets, gadget 1 I'm using defibrillators, gadget 2 I'm using a medic bag and in combination with the field upgrade of combat medic this is a really really good setup for grabbing easy points. Because if you're using this medic setup and you're say you're playing conquest or rush this is going to get you tons of points and just using combat medic will maximize the amount of points you can get. So I'm going to read off the actual benefits of having the combat medic field upgrade. So level 1 your med kit upgrade increases the maximum deployed medic bags by 1 and so you can put down two of those on the field and that's going to get you tons of points if you have them in different locations so that is always good level two sprint increases maximum sprint by 10 percent so that's always good if you need to run to revive someone or give somebody health that always helps level three is defib upgrade increases charge up speed of the defibrillator so if you need to charge up really fast to give that maximum health to someone when you revive them always helpful for that to happen and level four the medical unit occupied vehicles will slowly heal in the near nearby soldiers so that is actually a really good upgrade because say you're in a Humvee or something like that and there's someone next to you that's taking cover right next to you you can be in an armored vehicle and still be able to heal them which is really good for this setup now finally to end this setup off for grenades I'm using the Argo impacts and this is actually the first setup that I've used them in you won't see these in my gameplay but these are actually very good for when people are behind cover and maybe you've shot at them a little bit and you just need to take them out quickly 
the impacts are really good because they explode on impact so someone dips behind cover you can just chuck one of those back there it explodes as soon as it hits something and a lot of the times that'll just finish them off so these are really good to use in those type of situations so I strongly suggest using them especially with this setup so there you have it guys a beast setup for the SAR 21 remember if you guys have any requests for any weapons just leave those below I've been getting tons of requests and trust me, I'm working on them as hard as I can. It takes me a while to unlock all these weapons, so I'm working as fast as I can to get these setups out and running. So remember, leave your requests below. Like the video if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later.